and 290 resistance value so the short is cleared here we are I'm sorry I'm holding the battery connector because it's very loose I hate iPhone X and iPhone 8 battery connectors Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ayman and today's video is about iPhone 8 Plus doesn't turn on. A customer brought it to me here and he mentioned that his phone suddenly uh, didn't want to turn on and I disassembled the board. The board is very clean, nobody touch it. I like when a customer send me the board without trying fixing it himself or send it to another repair shop the success rate would be higher when you send me the board or the phone directly when i connect the phone to the power supply i found out that it has a short after checking the board i didn't see any liquid damage or physical damage the board is intact clean i checked everything everything is in perfect condition so what i did here is just a jumper to the mosfet q3350 so i don't get trolled by this one getting hot if you watched this video you uh, would know by now that ipower cable is not uh, sufficient when it comes to uh, detecting a short circuit because it's lowering the amp drought now i want to connect the phone to the power supply uh, through normal cable to uh, inject voltage directly to the lines this is what i mean by normal cable it has a uh, crocodile uh, leads so let's see how we gonna do it i can inject in the mosfet Uh, I pin this wire, then I connect it to the MOSFET. This, this uh, wire is isolated. And then I pin the other side to connect it to the crocodile cable. just to remove the isolation then I connect this cable not iPower this is what I mean by normal cable it has a crocodile uh, leads I put the negative anywhere and I connect positive to here and you can see that the wire is got broken because the phone is drawing the full 5 amps before it was drawing only a quarter of an amp uh, when I connected to the uh, iPower cable the wire is very thin okay I will inject directly by a tweezer. Let me check if it's a VDD main short or VBAT. Yeah, it's not VBAT, it's VDD main as usual. So let's bring tweezer here and inject to vdd main and start to feel the board my by my hand i hope i can feel something it's drawing two amps and i don't feel anything here it's getting warm Okay, let's increase the amp. I will do it like 3 amps.
Okay, three and a half amps. It's getting warm near the power IC. Warm, not hot. Three amps should be hot. Okay, let's do it five amps. And then I will put rose in here since this is the area is getting warm. And now let's inject again. That's a five amps. And here it is. Got you. So with very low temperature, I will try to remove the underfill and remove this capacitor. This is the power management IC. So it's very sensitive area, very hot area, very dangerous. Take care from the power IC. The underfill around the power IC in the 6S and 7 and 8 is very hard, not like soft, uh, like uh, the regular uh, underfill used with Apple devices. Oh, I forget which one. I really forget which one. Both are this one is moving I will remove it I don't want to stop the recording and watch it back since this is the one moving I will remove it I guess it's that one let's check again for short VDD main Still, so it's the other one. <laughs> you look clean. You look like nothing wrong with you. Okay, sorry. And I got it out. He look very clean. Now let's check again. And 290 resistance value. So the short is cleared. Let's turn on the phone to check. I will clean it later. Where's the screen? It's connected to the charger. I guess that the battery will be drained. That battery of iPhone 8 and iPhone X, the connector is very small and very easy to loosen. So here we are. I'm sorry I'm holding the battery connector because it's very loose. I hate iPhone X and iPhone 8 battery connectors. They are easy to get loose. Uh, see, now it's off again. Because cannot hold it in place. Have to put the shield above. And now it's on. Let's see if it will boot. I'm sure it will boot. And it's working. You can see it. You can see password. Yeah. So that was an easy one. The thing you don't know when you hit record if it will be easy one or not. If you like this video, give me a like and leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. My work here is done and I'll see you next one.